Well, welcome back, Izzy. I and am back. I am back. For those of you who tuned in last week, you might as well notice there's somebody prettier than him sitting next to me. Much, much. And, uh, yes, smaller like, too. And we talked about how you're vacating. You know, yeah, vacation. you took I, a few jabs at me, but that's okay. I was home working hard. Working hard. Look like, at those calluses. Like Son Z's. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I was, I was building. I was constructing. You were constructing. Huh? Yes, I was. I got some the new sandwich? steps. No, well, oh, okay. that happened too. Okay. Hello, and welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz. And I'm Bud Driscoll. Topping the headlines from yesteryear. This one is close to our heart. It is. Yes. Wherever it is. Wherever it is. October 6, 1986. The man whose collection of 19th century artifacts served as the basis for Salinas' series of historical museums rose from the dead Sunday afternoon for the grand opening of Smoky Hill Museum. One of our sponsors. Just coincidentally. Coincidentally. Shout out <laughs> to 11 West Iron. Colonel William A. Phillips, portrayed by Lou Lida of the Salina Community Theater, addressed a crowd of about 300 gathered to witness the museum's grand opening and now it's 25 years old so make sure to visit it go in there that's right happy birthday to 11 west iron tell and them we'll, bud and izzy sent you that's right and while we're at it we'll shout out to headley's clothing 1829 south nine he's a little older than 25 years old but, yeah but, but he's a, a salina institution fine fine man glenn that's headley right. well let's go back in the wayback machine to october 9th 1961. mrs douglas johnston 1507 Maple, Salinas television quiz champion, returned uh -huh. home. Mrs. Johnston, who won trips to Mexico and Nassau, and many household items on a five-day stint on Number Please, Number Please, has been vacationing at her mother's home in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. She said the prizes she had won have just begun arriving. Among the prizes are a home workshop, a library, a freezer, a refrigerator, china, and crystal. Oh, I wonder how long those things last. I don't know. Why don't you get pay taxes and all those? I don't know. I bet you. <laughs> the government will figure out a way. I'll get their share. That's right. October 19th, 1936. Oh, it might have been termed a June and December romance by some, but to the newlyweds, there was nothing unusual about their wedding at the courthouse Thursday oh. afternoon. Wow. The groom, William A. Nimix. Hmm. Age 70. Oh. And the bride was blonde Doris Maud Morrison, age 19. 19. Both are from Hoisington. His oh. first wife passed away four years ago. Hmm. And according to the reports, the second Mrs. Nimox, who was described by witnesses at the wedding as an attractive, quiet sort of girl, has kept house for her new husband for about a year. Oh, well, you know, I guess whatever can keep you Ain't active. that tender. <laughs> whatever can keep you active, I guess. Yes, yes. Well, you know, it's more like a January, December romance, but, you yeah. know, I mean, you know, I mean, power to it. Yeah, something from the Renaissance. That's right. <laughs> well, October 6, 1911. Well, here's a sad story. Sad, sad story. William Blair and C.A. Probosco Two farmers living near Detroit. Which is that way. Which is not in Michigan, but it's nope. a small town north of Abilene. They don't make cars there. No. Nope. They might make moonshine there. Yeah, I so think we'll they We'll soon did. find out. Were arrested by Sheriff Burke yesterday on the afternoon on the road north of Salina on the charge of disturbing the peace. Oh. You see, the men had been to Salina on business and somewhere, somewhere purchased two bottles of beer and some whiskey to cheer them up on the way home. Oh, yeah. As we often do on the yes, way home. Yes, yes. The intoxicants had the desired effect, so much so that they began to refuse to allow other travelers to go around their loaded wagon. Oh, man. So you have two loaded guys with a loaded wagon. Drink wagoning. Yeah, and... You know, and they wouldn't let people pass, so they're in the hooskow. <laughs> don't drink, don't drive and drink a loaded wagon, kids. And, yeah, and don't feed the beer to your horses. No. Read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. And uh, you have a great weekend, and we'll see you yesterday.